In a time when everything seems apocalyptic, when the state of the world is so stressful it can be overwhelming, get ready for a gaming experience that helps you cope with it the only way you know how. Running around and screaming like an idiot. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Collapse awkwardly into Fall Guys. The sensation that's sweeping the internet by being fun to stream, fun to watch, and most importantly, free on PS Plus. In a phenomenon the industry refers to as doing a Rocket League, where you get your weird multiplayer indie game in front of a huge audience for no money. And as a result, actually have enough people playing it to fill games, unlike 99% of multiplayer stuff on Steam. That is, until the server sh the bed for the 500th time. No, 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 I was right there! Ah! There is no God. Dive headfirst into the fiercest competition of our age. A cuddly yet brutal gauntlet that's somewhere between a battle royale and a Japanese game show that stands on the shoulders of such fine predecessors as the Wipeout video game and Doritos Crash Course. As 60 egg people with brain damage leading to poor motor control struggle through a series of brightly colored obstacle courses and team competitions, where the winner is the person who spends the least time getting tossed around like a sack of potatoes by the dark whims of the video game physics gods, or just dicks that you're playing with. I'm telling you right now, there are going to be trials in The Hague for everyone who stands on that one log and slime climb. I will never forgive, and I will never forget. Prepare your minion-shaped body for the 20 or so events Fall Guys has to offer. From the races that will finally test your years of platforming skill in a competitive setting. Except everyone moves like Mario after losing both his feet to diabetes and howl in frustration as you get jammed up in a doorway with a million dudes, or fall off the goddamn teeter-totters again. To the team games, where you watch your run fall apart in front of your eyes, because half your squad doesn't know how to roll a ball, or just had the misfortune to be on Team Yellow, who even the devs hate, and the rounds that are just straight up kinda bad like the ones that are so easy no one gets eliminated, or anything involving tails. Until you make it to the finals and your dreams of looking like a cool costume guy are crushed once again, as you get caught up in some stupid swinging hammers in a cyclic hell and watch someone that's been playing non-stop since launch breeze past for the crown. <laughs> then whip your controller into your TV with a force appropriate for losing the Olympics. Honestly, it might be more fun to watch people lose this game than win. <laughs> Discover the strange hold that Fall Guys exerts on your subconscious, as its patented combination of being fast and easy to get into games, needing maybe 5% of your brain to actually play, and its utilization of the dreaded Battle Pass cosmetic system that digs its claws deep into your fierce need to dress your bean boy in a pigeon outfit makes you keep coming back for more even when it kicks you right in the dick. Because to get the best hats, you've got to put up those W's. And unless you're the rain man of games about having the balance of a toddler, you're just going to have to brute force it and pray to R in Jesus to smite your foes with giant apples or whatever. Sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar, well, he eats you. So slip into that skin-tight lycra and get ready to get extremely mad at the dumbest video game you've ever played as you fight like your life depended on it to win the pants for the tie-in costume from some indie game you've never played. At least until you get bored of it. Because unless they put some more events in this thing pretty quick, everyone's going to burn out on it in like two more weeks. Or until the next ridiculous multiplayer game comes out, What's next? Crabs that fight with swords? Oh, that's already a thing. Starring, falling, getting crushed, eating absolute shit, leaving this mortal coil, missing the platform by a hair. Okay, that guy's definitely dead. And that one guy who stands right outside the finish line and then waits until you almost make it to walk in. That's right, Poop Feast 420. I'm going to find out where you live.
Alcohol Guys Ultimate Blackout. So, it's got the aggro crag from Guts, it's got the door thing from Takeshi's Castle. What if the next Fall Guys level is just 60 people doing Legends of the Hidden Temple at the same time? Fall Guys guys, I'm available for consultation at very low rates. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. Thunder breathing first form, thunder clap and flash. I am tired of saying all that you want me to say. Pants removed for maximum confusion. I'm your Huckleberry. Never trust a Sicilian when death is on the line!